got a heck of a race underway here. I haven't seen crews, lightweight women, just spring out of the blocks the way they just have in this race. It's, uh, at this point, looks about even, although as they approach the crew on the far lane from the University of Cincinnati, it's fallen off the pace. But with the exception of that, we've got uh, a very, very good race here. The unusual circumstance here, we've got Iowa. Now, Iowa is not known uh, in the rowing world as a power, but I'll tell you, they're making their mark at this very point. Iowa is in the lead in lane four in the yellow and black uniforms, and they look good in that lead, in fact. So it's Iowa in lane four with a, a nice lead there. Uh, probably, I'd guess, uh, a four or five seat lead, maybe uh, close to... They could have almost a almost, length. Yeah, you're right, almost a boat length. You're exactly right, uh, Hart. As we come down, the final push here for the women's lightweight. This is race number five here at Harsha Lake. The Iowa... Cornell is making a move, though. Cornell is making a move. Cornell making an outstanding move on the outside as they are making a strong push here down the stretch. Cornell lane five, Iowa and four. But That's, Iowa just answered them. Yeah, they sure did. They came back and answered that in a hurry, didn't they? This is really what boat racing is all about. Counter move, move, counter move. They shifted their gears again and they're going away again. Here they come, a strong push by the Iowa Hawkeyes. Cornell Big Red. And it's going to be at the finish line. It will be Iowa winning it unofficially. It'll be Iowa, then Cornell in lane five. And we got a battle going for third place. And coming in, it looks like it will be right. You see Santa Barbara will finish third unofficially. It was a great push by Cornell, but boy, did Iowa answer that push.